All right, Chief X, the God best, reincarnated with some more common sense signs. So check it out. We're talking about migration today. Okay? And why Africans did not populate the entire earth. Okay? It doesn't work like that, family. This is a big earth. Okay? Let's go. So, um, us homo sapiens, everyone listening to this is a homo sapien. We are 200,000 years old. 200,000 years old. Okay? The out of Africa theory was 70,000 years ago, approximately, give or take. Okay? Life started in Africa, right around here. Everyone knows that. All races of scientists know that. It's not a secret. Okay? Life started in Africa. It's just a universally known fact. That everyone agrees with, regardless of race. Okay? So, 70,000 years ago, we came out of Africa and went several routes. You know, this way and that way. Okay? So, the out of Africa theory, 70,000 years ago. So, we can leave Africa. Okay? Go into West Asia. And eventually, 20,000 years later, ended up in Australia. Okay? Those original people who left out of Africa 70,000 years ago ended up in Australia 20,000 years ago. Now, after 20,000 years, these people are no longer African. Because when you go through migration, you go through uh, um, different areas. Different environmental pressures. You take on different diets. Okay? Also, when they left out of Africa, they left out of Africa and ran into archaic humans. When I say archaic humans, I mean like Homo Neanderthal, Homo erectus, Homo habiganza. Okay? That's what I, when I say archaic humans, I'm talking about th those human beings. So when I say Homo Neanderthal or Homo erectus, Homo means human, if you didn't know. That's what Homo means. So Neanderthals, Homo erectus, all those are humans. They're just archaic humans. Because sometimes when I say archaic humans, people think I'm talking about somebody that was just five, six, ten thousand years ago. No, I'm talking about uh, 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 um, species before us. Our species is Homo sapiens, but we're all humans. Okay, they leave out of Africa seventy thousand years ago, go into Europe, and end up in Australia twenty thousand years ago. Those people are called the Aboriginals, Aboriginal Australians. Nobody else, no Africans, Chinese, Mexicans, whites, or anybody else, is considered Aboriginal when you're talking. In science language, the universal language, when someone says aboriginal, everyone knows, I'm teaching you now, you may not have known this, but most people who are scientifically literate know when you say aboriginal, you're talking about the original Australians who came there 20,000 years, I mean, that's not 20,000 years ago, actually 50,000 years ago, but... 20,000 years ago, after leaving out of Africa, they ended up in Australia. Those people are called the Aboriginal Australians. Us Africans, us African Americans, are not Aboriginal people. That's not a term for us. It's just for the original Australians, and sometimes it's used for Native Americans that crossed the Bering Straits and ended up in Canada, but more so for Aboriginal Australians. So when you say Aboriginal, you're talking about original Australians. You're not from Australia. Okay? Okay. So, they met with other archaic humans. Some DNA got exchanged. That's why Aboriginal peoples have Neanderthal and Denisovan DNA in them. Small amount. Okay? Actually, Aboriginals <laughs> Then, um, of 
Neanderthals than Europeans do. If you didn't know that. Okay? So, leaving out of here, going into these lanes, environmental pressures, different diets, uh, intermingling with other archaic humans, um, people change. They are no longer African after 20,000 damn years, y'all. It doesn't work like that. This is how we get other races. Because of evolutionary changes in us homo sapiens. Different environments, different diets. You're, sometimes you're not um, tropical anymore. You're not along the equator, the sun belt. Okay? You develop different melanin uh, um, um, levels. Okay? Some people are lighter, some people are darker. That's how it works. The closer you are to the equator, usually the darker you are. Okay? So everybody really has melanin, just different amounts. Melanin is determined by the sun's UV rays in the particular geographical area that that human being came from or resided in for thousands of years. Okay? So while all this out of Africa theory is going on, nobody is over here. Nobody is over here. It's empty. We just came out here 70,000 years ago and began to populate. Humans came out here 70,000 years ago and began to populate the world. But over on the, not the Western Hemisphere, but over here first. This is all empty. You're not indigenous to that land. You're not from that land. This is the Western Hemisphere. Okay? This is how this works. We're going to get you scientifically literate. Okay? So, people began to populate. These people, the Aboriginal Australians, um, the Tasmanian people, this island right here, um, certain uh, um, islanders, uh, Pacific Islanders, they became isolated when they reached these areas 50,000 years ago. Isolated from the rest of the populations. The rest of the human populations were mixing and exchanging. That's why Africans have a lot of genetic diversity. A lot of genetic diversity. The Aboriginals and Australians don't have a lot of genetic diversity because they were isolated from the rest of the humans. Way over here. They didn't intermingle and mix and fucking shit like that with everybody else, like everybody else over here was. Okay? Races, other races come about through migrations. Okay? Now, one other thing I like to say. People always want to argue about what's the original name of Africa. It doesn't matter what the original name of Africa. We call it Africa today. That's the language we speak today. It is impossible to know the original name of any continent or country. You know why? Because people migrate and languages change. What the what what they call what the Nile Valley uh, Egyptians Nile Valley civilizations called Africa. The people ten, five thousand years ago before them didn't call it what they called it. The people ten thousand years ago called Africa. The people twenty thousand years ago called it something else. What the people twenty thousand years ago called Africa. The people thirty thousand years ago. Call it something else. People migrate. Languages change. There is no such thing as an original name of Africa. You guys should stop that silly ass argument. This, there was names like Ethiopia, uh, uh, al kibalan I think al kibalan is Arabic, which is, you know, newer. Uh, but names changes. It doesn't fucking matter. We speak English today. It's called Africa today. So say Africa for universal communication purposes. Okay? Keeping shit simple. Don't let nobody get you to know what the original name of our Africa argument is. It's a silly argument to me. And from now on, I hope it's silly to you. Okay, so that's how it works. Now, here's Russia. Okay? Or, um, it's still the continent of, uh, of Asia. Okay? But, you had a people... 
who come out of here, they, they call this East Asia, West Asia. They call this East Asia. You had the people who came out of here uh, 60,000 years, or well, let me say 55,000 years after the out of Africa theory, and they end up going into here, which continues over here, called the Bering Straits through Alaska. These were the Native American people who had East Asian DNA. Africans had nothing to do with this. Nothing to do with this. You're over here. This is your land. Once the people left in thousands and thousands and tens and 20,000 years ago, they began to take on different shapes and forms. That's why you have Asian people today, Thailand people today, uh, 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 white people today, Mexican people today, Indian people today. They changed. It stopped. They're not African no more. Now, 15, about 13,000 years ago, give or take, don't be picky with me. They came through the Bering Straits, the Native Americans, with East Asian DNA in this cold area through Alaska. Russia and Alaska is next to each other. And the Native Americans came in here. And then they began to populate. Okay? And they began to populate. This is the Western Hemisphere. Africans never had came over here. Never came over here. Okay, there's no people running around here, you know, uh, uh, 200, 300, 400,000 years ago, well, black people populating the whole world. They didn't, don't work like that. The out of Africa theory is 70,000 years old. Eventually, people came in here, um, at first, before 15,000 years ago, for, excuse me, 14,000 years ago, it was an ice age over half of North America. Canada and half of North America was in an ice age called the Laurentine Ice Age. What nobody here, not even Native Americans, it was cold and frozen all up in here. Frozen cold. No humans were there until 14,000 years ago when that ice melted. Then they came in and populated. There were no Africans here. They didn't come here. The race had changed totally. People began to have straight hair. Nappy kinky hair is a product of sub-Saharan Africans in general. West Africa, sub-Saharan Africans. The rest of the world don't have nappy hair like us. Okay? There is never, you will never find a nappy haired Native American tribe prior to the slave trade in the 14, uh, 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 prior to 1500, I'll say. Okay? That's why it's never been a nappy-headed Native American tribe. That's why I always say that. That for reason. Africans never came over here. Okay, so Native Americans begin to populate the Western Hemisphere. I'm not trying to call them all Native Americans with that term. It's a blanket term, but you get what I'm saying. Most of these people have of, our, of East Asian stuck. Okay. Then they populated. We had nothing to do with it. We were over here. Any boats and ships that were had, the old, oldest boat that we know of and that's found is 8,000 years ago. That was found in Nigeria. Okay? So, now Valley Africans didn't have an Atlantic Ocean to come to. They're over here. Any boats they had, Khufu's boat, which is the third oldest boat found or known, well, it, it only sailed in this little Mediterranean Sea or up and down the Nile River. These are what these boats were doing. Nile River, Mediterranean Sea, different lakes and shit, you know what I mean? See, but them boats in that time didn't have the technology and were not capable of crossing large body oceans. That didn't happen until 1400s when the Portuguese began to advance shipbuilding technology. Then boats started, they started human trafficking after sick technology jumped off. That's why the slave trade jumped off. Because people were able to do human trafficking in large, you know, in mass now. Because we had shipbuilding technology. They can sail, motherfuckers. Okay? So, that's it in a nutshell. That's migration. A little talk on evolution. I'm a baby with evolution and migration. Over Just over the last three years, I've been studying it. You know what I mean? I, I basically got it 
a lot of the information from the Amin Ra squad and it kind of started from there and I've been doing my own research and stuff. Um, but it's a deep subject. If you don't understand evolution and migration, nothing else will fall in line. You'll be confused. You'll be confused about who populated the earth, how, and you'll still be running around here talking about Africans populated the entire earth. We own the earth. It sounds silly to people who know about evolution and migration. Now, if you don't want to believe in evolution, that means you're a creationist. Meaning you're religious. Meaning you believe in a single entity male creator God who popped his finger and up popped man out of thin air. Because you only have two choices. Evolution or creationism. There's no other choice. Religion or science? Choose wisely. I'm out.